This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 7 of the 3DS Max Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Uh, to begin, just select this piece right here, because I think it's a little bit too small, and scale it on the X, Z, so it becomes fatter, but not longer. And then you're going to want to move it upward until you have um, this thing shown again. And we're also going to want to select this, uh, go into the vertex mode, and just drag these out a bit. Alright. Match. Uh, actually, just select all this again, deselect that, bring that out a bit more. Alright. Uh, next, we're going to just fix some more proportions, so select this, go into vertex mode, go into the top view, select this, and just drag it over a bit. Um, then you're going to want to copy it, okay, mirror, sorry, uh, mirror on the x-axis and just drag it so it lines up with this one over here. Okay. And then just select the old one and delete. Back into perspective. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So now we're going to get the placement tool. To do that, go to Google, type in 3ds Max placement tool. second link, and then right below this picture here, there's a thing that says placement tool. Left click on it, and it'll bring up this, um, press open with notepad, and if, that, if you don't get that, you can just right click and save link as. And once it's in notepad, you're going to want to go into 3ds Max, and go to Max script, new script, um, bring up your notepad file, copy everything, paste it in there, and you're going to do file, save as, um, placement tool, and save it uh, wherever your scripts are saved. And to run this script, you go to max script, run script, placement tool, open, and this thing will come up. It should say paint hair floater on the top. The way it works is you select the object you want to place the small objects on. So I want to use this. Press selected source. Selected source. And then um, select the rivet we created last time and say pick distribution one and select it again. Then all you have to do is hit place and it'll automatically have this thing that'll place it on whatever contour you use basically. So I'm going to go to the top view for here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to do every other one. If not, we'll just kind of rotate it. So just place it. And the reason you do this is just to give it a bit of character so that you don't just use the rotate tool. going to want to drag it down just to make sure that it sticks. Oh, we got one. Alright, there we go. Um, and you can see we have nice rivets that are placed and ready to go. Um, we can use these same rivets for uh, these things right here. So what you do is uncheck place, select both these, pick selected source, place. Uh, I see you only do one. Select the source and then place. And we're going to want three. So I'm going to do the top. Is there? There. Actually, no. Um, you can click 
close that out for now. What we're going to have to do is make the rivets bigger. So, go to cylinder, top view, make sure auto grid's on, and just make a bit bigger cylinder. Go into perspective, bring the height down a bit. Um, same number of sides, convert to editable poly. Select the edges there, give them a slight chamfer of about 0.11. Okay, um, name this bigger rivet. And give it the gray color. And for these we'll just copy them. Okay. And then select the middle one, rotate, rotate, rotate. Select them all, press W for move tool, shift, drag to clone, press copy. Now we have some nice detail. And let's see, going to the top view, go to the vertex sub mode, and just select these things and drag them over a bit. Go right in the middle. I think it's just too small. Okay. And select this thing and drag it to the middle. Go in perspective to make sure that it's uh, centered. And move it up just a tad. Since it was touching. Move it forward just a bit. Alright, there we go. Um, let's see, next we're going to want to, uh, let's see, just place a rivet right here, sink it down, alright, and just place one right there. Good. And then let's create a smaller rivet and place it right here. Okay. Uh, convert to editable poly. Polygon edges chamfer. Give it a small chamfer again. Okay. Make it gray. And then just copy it. box. Um, Alright, let's see. I'm going to want to add a little detail on top of these, so go to, or select them, and go to polygons at the top, inset, inset it just a bit, about 0.87, and select these rivets here. Just drag them down. Okay. Select the polygon again, and we're going to want to extrude downward, just to break up the shape a bit. Okay, that was negative 0.24, and then just drag these downward a bit. Okay, and we can do the same with the other side. Actually, it's probably just easier if we uh, copy everything, so... That mirror, okay. Go into the top viewport, line it up, just like the other one. Oops, wrong one. Delete, back into perspective, sink these down, and back. Okay, I'll that'll be it for this part. I'll see you in the next part.